Afternoon, folks. Oh, sorry, dog walker here. We're in uh, Iron Bridge in Telford. I'll just come down to have a look at the uh, water. See how flooded it is. Uh, it's the 18th of February 2020. Um, out with the doggies, Benji and Diane. Alright, just spin you around, give you a quick look. There we go folks, the barriers are up and uh, apparently there's problems with the road or something and there's another weather front coming in so it could be even more. There's the Iron Bridge itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not interested, Di? <laughs> Come on. Oop. <laughs> all right. Go on, you're all right. Go up. Tangled up. <laughs> Stop. Don't pull. Come on, dogs. Half's completely gone. It's the coracle shed over there that's been repaired. Got all them over there flooded.
right, folks. Come on, bench. Walk up Tom Tom Bank to Ely's. Get there. Sausage roll. Total distance one mile. Total time 39 minutes and 49 seconds. Burnt 138 calories. Average speed 1.5 miles per hour. Current speed 1.8 miles per hour. All right, folks. <coughs> get off. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Get off. You're not allowing it. Come on. Yeah, look, I'm going up onto the Iron Bridge now. Come on, Mosey. There we go, looking downstream again, and towards the old coracle shed, which is in the process of being uh, renovated. Right, folks, like I say, we're in the square. We just come off Iron Bridge, off the actual Iron Bridge. We're in the square, well, not the square, uh, just off the square, sorry, by the War Memorial. That's the uh, Market Square over there, St. Luke's Church. There's a the doggies, look at them, sitting nicely. We've just had a sausage roll from Ely's and uh, we're going to go back up this way and we're going to have a walk downstream down towards Colport and Jackfield. So, 
I can see the chippy there, I think I might go in there, grab a small portion of chips. Right, back in a bit folks. Right folks, we're back. Just had some sausage and chips. Come on, you. Come on. All right, we're just walking up the high street. Come on you dogs, over. Temporary bus stop. Stop. Uh, the big blue building in front of us as you can see now it's called the Ponder Cherry Indian restaurant and cafe but it used to be the old police station Right, we're gonna go down here. This is Waterloo Road. As you can see on the sign up there, hopefully. Right. <clears throat> We're going to walk down here towards the free bridge and have a look at the river from there. Right, I'll bring you back in a bit when I'm a bit further on down. Okay folks, we're back over the other side of the car park there. You can just see the memorial, it's the Bartlett Memorial, used to be in the square in Ironbridge. Right. Yep. 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 Right, just here in front of us is the old site of Alcox Coaches. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. No problem. Thank you very much. Uh, I've won the trip.
come here. Stop. The dogs. To see the river through the trees there. Come on then, dogs. Come on. So I bring you back in a bit, folks. Yeah, no. Sorry about that, folks. I'll bring you back in a bit. All right, we're back. We're just up above. Bedlam furnaces now. Sorry, sorry for the delay. Then I dropped the dog lead. Yeah, we're just up, up above Bedlam Furnaces, as you can see there on the left. Yeah, look, you can see how how close the river is to the road here path and road river Just look how fast it's flowing. That's one dangerous river. And there's the old Bedlam Furnaces. Hi mate. Yeah, look. Sorry about that wind blowing. I'd say that's uh, about a foot away and coming onto the path. Foot, maybe two foot. If that anyway, we're nearly down by the three bridge. Oh, 
on the bank there on the left you've got the Virgin Anne pub yeah look at this You all right, mate? Yeah, you. Yeah, not bad. I don't know if you can make them out there, but the ducks are having a free ride. There's a Robin Hood pub. There we go, look. The free bridge. Stop pulling dogs. Right then folks. I'll be back when I get a bit further on down. I think I'm gonna walk down through down this way into uh, Lloyd's Coppice. I'm back in a bit. Right folks, we're back, we're a bit further on. Uh, we've just gone past the free bridge as you saw uh, I'm now walking across the Lloyds this road leads you into uh, Coldport and um, Maidley right, but I'm going to go when I come to it I'm going to go to the left and go up through Lloyd's Coppice and uh, I'm gonna have a short break in Lloyd's Coppice at the ice house and I'm gonna stop and have a drink of coffee out my flask I've not brought a stove with me today, just brought a flask of coffee again, so... Get out, yep, get out of the mud bench. Ugh. Right, that's the way I've got to go up there. But, I just want to go down this little path here. To an area 
um, where you've seen me in photos. I don't know if I've videoed down here before or not. I can't remember. Anyway, we're going down this way. Come on, dogs. Ooh, right, okay. No, I'm not. I'm not going down this way. Because look. The path is underwater. Do you know if you can hear that pump in the distance over the other side of the river? That's one of the houses being pumped out by the sound of it. Lovely houses, lovely area, but I wouldn't want to live in one of them to be honest because this hassle all the time, every year or every couple of years, whatever, it, however long it happens, but when it does happen, makes such a mess. Feel sorry for them, but that's nature, isn't it? Sadly. Uh, I'm not going to bother going across there because that'll it only takes you down into the same place as that other path this other path did so and as you've seen it was flooded so no point but I am going to go up through the coppice just show you these look an odd patch of crocuses All right, back in a bit, folks. All right, folks, this is the way we've came. Um, like I said, we're in Lloyd's Coppice now. And a uh, bit of a mistake coming this way, I think. Benji's is going to be filthy again. There he is. There's Diane. All right, go on, kids.
lots of groundwater. <clears throat> Come on, Jay. As I always say in my videos, if you want to find out um, more information, you can, well, you can look. Sorry, let's get me words out. <laughs> you can uh, pause this video and have a look at this notice board or go to sevengorge.org.uk for more information. Come on, doggies. Come on, doggum. He's coming, Doug. Oh wow, I'm surprised. I would have thought that there'd been more water in this um, pool, considering all the rain we've had recently. No, you're not going down there, Bench. Right folks, I'll bring you back in a bit when we're at the ice house. Big old tree over. Right, come on, bench. Right, we're not at the ice house yet, but I just thought I'd show you that big tree where it was over. And these couple of little pools. Bench, no! Come on.
Be all right. Right, I'll bring you back in a bit. Right folks, we're back. Just turning left now towards the uh, ice house. Here we go, look folks. Here it is. And once again, for people who don't know what the ice house is doing here, it was part of the Anstice family um, home. It was in Maidley Wood Hall, where the Anstice family used to live. It was part of their home, basically. It was an olden day fridge freezer. To pull it easier. Anyway, we're here and that's it. You'll have seen me do uh, videos of it before or. Oop, hey, up, oh, just slipping on the brick. Diane, this way, babe. Right. So I'm going to end the uh, video here. And um, I'm going to sit down and have myself a cup of coffee. Then I'm going to walk home. Not sure which way yet. But if I go up around the side of the steps and don't really fancy doing steps today. Feeling a bit lazy. So I should probably walk up the side of the Coalport Road, up the Silken Way. Um, to Maidley and then home. Anyway, folks, I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.